A2017U1 is probably the first identified interstellar object that's been passing through our solar system. This of course leads us to asking several questions. What actually is it? Why isn't it just a normal asteroid or comet? Why do astronomers think that it's actually come from outside of our solar system? Like most of the identical objects in our solar system, A2017U1 appears to just be a lump of rock. In this case, one which may be around about 150 metres across. However, we haven't got a very good look at it, so estimates of its size and even its mass could be out by a fairly significant margin. Partly because, like most lumps of rock, it isn't that bright. It doesn't give us that much information to actually work with. Possibly it may be composed of other materials than rock, like iron, but being its sake, until we know more, rock is probably the most likely description for it. It's unlikely to be much water on the object, as it isn't producing the telltale comet-like tail of debris that a normal comet would, but suggesting that either the water has already left the object, or little was there in the first place. The size of the rock, though, is fairly common in our solar system. What's really unusual about this particular lump of rock, both where it's coming from and the speed at which it's travelling, led astronomers to conclude the item has actually come from outside of our solar system. Many objects, like comets, do spend a large part of their time at a large distance from our sun, with only short-term visits closer into the sun before going back out again. However, these objects are still orbiting the sun, just the shape of their orbits is elliptical. Basically, in their case, instead of the virtually circular object with objects like our planets, their orbit is kind of stretched out to form an ellipse. So the comet may spend thousands of years of its orbit further out than Pluto, before spending just a few years zooming in towards the sun, and then zooming out again. However, the orbital path does mean that all times the comet is under the gravitational influence of our sun. These objects also tend to orbit in a similar plane for planets, though with a greater degree of variation than the planets have. The difference with A2017U1 is the speed and direction, which means it's extremely unlikely to have originated from our solar system. It's most likely been ejected from another solar system, possibly a result of either a collision or passing too close to a large planet. But with red colouring, this object is likely to happened a lot, very long time ago, possibly around Vega, which is around 25 light years away. The direction is the first key point here about this object. Rather than approaching the inner part of our solar system from the plane where the planets are orbiting, A2017U1 is approaching from above the plane at a fairly steep angle. And there's just nothing out there within our own solar system that could account for the current path of the object. Now it is possible for something to pass close to the inner planets and be deflected into an orbit which is more vertical than horizontal. That brings us to the next point about A2017U1. And that's its speed. Now, many objects travel quite fast around our solar system. This object is really motory. Top speed is around about 130 thousand miles an hour. It'll probably be slowed down by the pull of the sun's gravity to around 60,000 miles per hour by the time it leaves our solar system. But that speed will still be faster than the Voyager spacecraft. What it does mean is the object isn't orbiting our sun. Basically the speed of the object is too great for the gravitational pull of the sun to slow it down enough as it shoots path into an orbit. So as it passes the inner part of our solar system, I have a hyperbolic orbit, basically an open-ended U-shaped curve. So like Voyager craft, once it's gone through the inner part of our solar system, completed a partial loop around the sun, then travel out of our solar system, never to return. One of the first questions with something that large and moving so fast is, will it hit the Earth? And here the answer is no. It's already missed the Earth by around about 15 million miles. It's not now going to get any closer to represent no threat to life on Earth. However, if a similar object were to hit the Earth in the future, it would be catastrophic. It's unlikely we would actually end ourselves as a species. We would be able to survive it, but it'd be a close run thing. What the appearance of A217U1 does mean, though, is even more evidence of planets forming around other stars 
this is exactly the kind of ejected debris from a planetary formation we expect to find the result of that formation.